Hey guys, on this quick video, we're gonna be talking about the challenges that you face when you are growing your cleaning company, okay? So oftentimes people will look at me and Miss Tamika and they'll say, hey man, I'm watching your growth, man. You guys are killing it. And they don't know the back is back scenes, right? So we, we are actually not the average YouTubers that just try to make things look all glips and glam. I'm, I'm here to tell you on this video right here that it ain't all peaches and cream all the time on this side. Okay. Okay. Just because I'm in front of a, a, a pretty, a little light in a camera doesn't mean that my life is all together. Like my cleaning company is all perfect. Really in reality, the more you grow with every level, you will face a different challenge. And we're going to talk about some of those challenges that we face as we grow. Okay. So there has been times where I felt like selling my cleaning business. Okay. I felt like, just like, listen, I don't, I don't want to deal with this shit no more. <laughs> that, that I was having those type of moments. And reason being is because one, I had clients that just flat out wasn't paying on time. Oh, huge issue. They they would pay, but whenever they don't pay on time, it messes up this, the cash flow. Okay, so we have a certain protocol that we use whenever they don't pay on time. We may cut their service off. We have certain letters that go out to try to scare them up, you know. And I just didn't like the feeling of having to chase money that is clearly owed to us. We got pictures. We got videos. This, give me my money. <laughs> Be wise on the industry, on the on the niche that you choose for your cleaning business, right? One thing I could say about um, residential, I love residential because the clients pay right away. Absolutely, I love that. The cha -ching, that notification goes off, it's right. like guaranteed. Yeah, it's know? like guaranteed, you yeah. know? And then not only that, but I love Airbnb because I never had a problem with Airbnb clients. They just, so pay right losers, away. some of them don't even ask you for insurance. You don't have to go through the insurance dance of the compliance depot companies, like all of that. You could just go ahead and get started. Right, right, Same right. Simpler. And then it's like the insurance. That was another challenge for us because the more you grow, the insurance is just growing too, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to pay more money. So what happens when you're paying more money for insurance? and people aren't paying you on time for you to pay the insurance and pay the contractors and pay your bills <laughs> y'all understand what i'm talking about it, it can be it, it can get real messy mm -hmm. you know at, at some times in your business so it's important to keep up with that cash flow and keep your cash flow positive so what's okay. another thing Another one is just work ethics with all contractors, whether you have contractors and employees. Um, just the work ethic. Some people may not come to work on time. They, they always come in late. You got somebody always complaining. But didn't you sign up for a cleaning position? I'm confused. Help me figure it out. Right. Um, it's, it's just, oh my God, certain things that should be common sense. Well, um, do I got to put a refrigerator out? I mean, we tell you certain things to do anyway, but then when you go to the actual location and you're asking that question, am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do that? Uh, I mean, you are doing a move and move out clean and we do special out and, you know, specialize in move and move outs and Airbnb. So, I mean, come on. Like, I, we have, well, the contract is no longer with us, but we used to have um, a contractor on the team and she went to an Airbnb and uh, uh, granted that I understand that the washer and dryer did not work properly. However, now you leave wet towels, you leave wet towels in the closet and then the sheets that you have, you put them on the bed. Like dirty, wet. dirty sheets. We had to deal with contractors putting dirty sheets on the bed because they might be frustrated because the washer and dryer is not working properly. So they're trying to get out of there so they can get their kids from school. Mm -hmm. So they're like, fuck it. I'm just going to shake these sheets out and <laughs> make this bed up real quick, smoothing it out, you know? So this is the mess that's just like, I started my first cleaning business back in 2018. Yes, it came to an end in 2019. I had to file bankruptcy, girl, okay? And then, then I didn't give up 
okay? I started another cleaning business and now we have grossed over a million in sales and I'm teaching people, baby, how I did it, all right? So click the link down below, join our private community, okay? Tenacity Academy, Tenacity Cleaning Business Academy, our private community where we laugh, cry, hold each other accountable and motivate each other, inspire each other. Everything is in the community. I go live, I answer questions. I can't, I, I can't explain it. You just got to tap in, okay? If you are getting tired of living paycheck to paycheck, tap into our community. Let us help you out, all right? I'm out of here. I'm about to finish playing my game. People calling out at the last minute. Like, granted that we are not, you know, uh, an employee mindset. We are contractors, just independent contractors. Like, you are very well, um, you're happy. You, 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 you're welcome to go ahead and say, you know what, I declined this job. But come on, man. At the last minute, Don't like decline five minutes job before, 30 minutes before you're supposed to do the job. You said you can do the job at a certain time. And then we have certain people that wait about 30 minutes. And then they'll say, oh, I can't, I got, I declined the job. I'm going to tell you that. Like, I'm going to tell you right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> they are no longer on the schedule because I'll be, I'll be like real quick. Um, excuse me. What's up? How many times have they done this? We don't got time for that because Ms. Johnson has a reputation to uphold and there's a lot of stuff that be going on. I am sick of it. Okay. So these, these are some of the challenges that we have had to face growing this business so mm -hmm. I, we're telling the story because i don't want people to be thinking that i'm just chilling on the yacht all day and you know i ain't, i'm not at that lifestyle I'm, I'm gonna give it to you rugged raw straight uncut of what we deal with in our world okay oh another one just bad complaints and bad comments like having to deal with those on a well, I wouldn't say daily basis because we barely get any, but just when we do, it's like, oh my god. Because we're so excited to win an account. So, you know, we're we're good at what we do. We're mm -hmm. good at winning accounts. Okay. We're good at going in there, you know, showing up, got our shirts on, we have our speech together, you know, we know what to say to win the account. Mm -hmm. And then when we win the account and we send the contract out there, the contract bombs mm -hmm. and we lose we lose the account so that means all the ads that were run all of my time driving all the way across town to do this walkthrough all all of this is is gone and down the drain right <laughs> it's just gone down the drain because you send the wrong person out there and they go out there and they bomb on the contract <laughs> so <laughs> And that's sad, people. I mean, it's not really funny, but it's funny because it's like people don't even care nowadays. Like people talking about how they want to get out of poverty and they want to do something, you know, to create generational wealth. But then when you're in it, it's like, OK, are you going to do what it takes to become, you know, a millionaire? Right. Like, what are you going to do? Aren't you tired? Hello? Let's get it together. <laughs> like, what's going on? But you can face a lot of these just owning a cleaning business, whether it's a cleaning business, whether it's a hair salon. We all have these, you know, difficulty times that we have to face. Right. Then you hear comments about some of the workers that work for you talking bad about you behind the scenes. No, you so, didn't go there, girl, it, with no comments. So, <laughs> so it gets a little, you know, like, man, like, after a while and all you're doing really is trying to grow your business help other people while you're growing your business and it can be frustrating it can be challenging so if you ain't got your mental together mm -hmm. man you could go crazy growing this business these are all the things that our company had to face growing we're still growing and going through things right mm -hmm. um i told i just did a video on how we got a audit okay so that's another thing that you would challenge when you're growing your business. I said that I wanted to grow my business and get millions in sales. Well, finally got when, it. When we <laughs> cross over our million dollar mark, mm -hmm. we're at another level right now. So it's a, it's expected. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, it's like, I, I expect it while I'm going through these growing pains as a business owner. Okay, I'm not perfect. Ms. Tamika not perfect. I'm so we perfect. are just sharing our story as we grow our cleaning company. All right. And we're hopefully we're helping everybody out there that's watching us. Thank y'all so much for watching the channel thank you. each and every day. I can't thank y'all enough. 
If you're not in our community, make sure that you click the link down below and you join our community, okay? We have chorus, we have fun, we laugh, we cry, we do challenges, I give away money, all of that stuff in the community. Click the link down below. And until the next video, I hope you guys got value out of that. Mm -hmm. My whole point was, it ain't all sweet. Yeah. Okay, it, 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 it listen, just because you see stuff on YouTube, that don't mean it's all sweet mm -hmm. all the time, okay? You will go through hard, hard, hard times. I'm going through hard times. I go through it too. Absolutely, okay? absolutely. It's, it ain't all sweet over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With every new level, there is a new devil. A new man. devil, baby. A new devil, all right? So until the next video, we are out of here. Peace.